Hi, in this chapter I will show you how we filter the items inside the stream. As you remember, we may filter the items inside the stream by using a predicate and the filter method inside the stream. You may use as many as filters predicates while processing a single stream. To demonstrate to you the filter method, I will create a class first. It is player. This player method will have three values inside it. The first one is assist count, second is score count, third is foul count, the fourth one is how many match uh, this player uh, participated in. And I will use a constructor, okay? And I'm not using uh, getters and setters for now for a quick demonstration. After that, let's create our main class filter example and I will put a main method inside it. And here I will create some players and put them into a list of players array list. Let's put some players inside it. Move player, the first one is assist count and score count, then file count, and then match count. Okay, let's create five of them and seconds has no assists but tangles, zero falls in 200 matches and let's put some values randomly. After that I will convert this array list into a stream. But before it let me remove this generic type identifier and then import java into list. Okay, I will use the stream method to convert this collection into a stream. Okay, stream of players, name it player stream. Import your way to stream after that, iterate over all the items with for each, print ln. This simply print out the objects one by one. Let's see it first. As you can see, when you print out all the items one by one, you, you just see the uh, full qualified package name and uh, address reference. Because we did not overwrite to string method of player, we may simply use and we may use a full method invocation. And let's print out in how many matches our player participated. And let's print out the match count. Okay. Let's see it. We are iterating over all the items one by one, four, two, and three, and etc. Let me use the player stream, but not player list. Okay, and see the result again. The result is the same. Now let's use player stream and the filter method of it. As you can see, it accepts a predicate. A predicate simply gets an item, let's say P and returns a boolean on the right hand side of the lambda expression. Let's say we need to find the players that participated in more than 10 matches. So p match count is greater than 10. We filtered the items. After that, use the same consumer here. Okay, we may break these lines for readability. But here we will get an exception because we already consumed all the stream and here we want to reiterate over the stream so we will get an exception let's see it here is our exception we need to create the stream from scratch again so player stream equals to player list dot stream we need to recreate this stream here let me separate the lines with dashes not to confuse and let's try again here you see that we only have one item because we filtered all the items here. Now let's filter the players that have participated more than five matches. Okay. And has more than two score. Okay. For this we may use another predicate here. P dot score greater than two. Okay. As you can see, we filtered first the match count and then the score. 
Again, the only item that has more than five matches and more than two scores is this item. If I change this to three, this item also will be included. These items have more than five matches and more than two scores. Okay. So that's all for filtering. In the next chapter, we will talk about how to transform each item one by one into a new, brand new uh, volume. See you then.